guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl TJ. I am back in the building with another freaking video. Today's video, we are trying out a new product. This is the Olive Oil Fix It Super Hold Spray. So I'm going to be starting a series where I'm testing out different hairsprays to see if it can hold up to got to be glue or if it's better than it or it can it compare. You guys get my drift. But yeah, this actually says it's hold for um it's actually for lace front wigs and weaves so we gonna see we gonna see so um, i actually seen this product reviewed first on i believe trendy k's channel um so yeah she's the first person i saw actually use this spray i don't know if somebody was before her but i seen her do it on her channel so i do want to you know give her credit because that's exactly where i saw it from so yeah um if you guys are not already subscribed to my channel don't forget to subscribe don't forget to leave a comment give this video a thumbs up share it with your family your friends your auntie your cousin whoever you think will benefit from watching this video so yeah we're gonna dive right into this so today's hair i am using is from ali pearl um, I, I believe I worked with their hair in the past, um, but I haven't recently. So we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get her out and ready to go. So of course the hair comes safely packaged and wrapped. Also, they did provide us with a wig cap, and it also came with a little silk bag which I do love because I love to store my units and these. And they also give you a pamphlet and instructions on how to wash your hair and take care of it because I know some of you guys are new to this. I am obsessed with body weight hair. Well, okay. At this point, it's so nice and it's soft and it's silky. I am running my hands through it. I'm not getting any shedding. This is what the unit looks like. As you guys can see, it has a comb here and a comb on the sides. I never really use the comb. I believe this is a 13 by six. So yeah, this is what it looks like. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my head so you guys can see what she looks like before I add foundation. Um, yeah, cause that's what I'm doing today. And I'm just using my um, matte poreless Fit Me foundation. I'm in the shade 355 if you guys are wondering. All right guys, so this is what the unit is looking like before I do any type of cutting of the lace, any alterations, shifting, because this is not even centered. There we go. So yeah, this is what the hairline looks like before anything is done. Um, I am gonna go, well it does look like it's pre-plugged. I can see it's definitely pre-plugged. All right guys, so this is what the lace is looking like once I've added foundation on it. Um, I do want to go in and do some plucking before I actually cut the lace off, so. It didn't really have a scent to me. I sprayed some in the cap. It's 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 low key got a smell, but it's nothing like bad. Um, it's like I smell it and I don't. Cause y'all know um olive oils products usually have like a pretty good smell to them. So it's not I, it's not really noticeable at all if it does. So I know this this nozzle part here sprays very very hard. So we are gonna see what it do. Thank you. 
So on this side, it ended up very clumpy, especially when I started using heat. Now in the center, I used it cool heat. And then on the sides, as you guys can see, my, my hair just ended up very, very crusty, very, very cakey. And I was about to be thrilled. I was about to be impressed with it, but y'all, I'm have I'm struggling over here. I'm literally struggling and I don't like to struggle. I don't like to struggle. I don't. That's just not what I do. So so far, y'all. What the freak? We gonna have to finesse it. But I want to continue to laying down the other side, but I wanted to check in with you guys so you guys can see the rawness. Uh, what I'm dealing with here because it's like it stays and then it doesn't stay if you guys know like I'm having problems with the lifting <sighs> y'all I've never been this frustrated never been this frustrated in my freaking life putting on a unit ever so I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side hopefully we have better luck over there installing it y'all it took me a hot minute to install this it really did um so far this was actually one of the hardest installs i've ever done um due to this product i feel like i will have to keep working with it so i could um decrease the time that it took me to put this on some areas like this area i didn't have any problems with but when it came to the sides it ended up clumping up on me um i tried to use cool heat um it, it was taking a little bit too long to dry um i couldn't tell if it was tacky or not um and like i said when i started um laying it down using hot heat it started to clump um i noticed it doesn't get much of that white residue that the other sprays have which is good but the clumpiness and then it's hard to get the edges of your uh, closure, I mean of the wig blended down using that spray because when I tried to put more on there, it just ends up caking. Like I said, it could be due to me just using foundation. Normally you can use got to be glue with foundation and you can put it on. So I can't let it off the hook that easily, but I'm gonna go ahead and um, let it sit for a few moments and then I'm gonna try to create my baby hairs and then we'll go on from there. So yeah.
guys so this is the end of the video this is how the hair turned out i wanted something loose some messy curls nothing too fancy um y'all i'm loving this unit Audi pearl did their thing when they created this unit it is freaking bomb i love how soft it is and i didn't even like wash it you know it's very very soft and it's very very bouncy and it has a lot of lot of body y'all this week is popping okay so yeah i don't really have any cons with this unit i got minimum shedding um minimum well i didn't get no tangling so let me not cap there was no tangling with this unit so far and like i said this is the first day i wore it out of the pack so this is just what it is now um as far as the spray because honestly for my first time i think it almost took me 30 minutes to install the full unit versus me using bed head or got to be glue what it's between 10 minutes honestly when i use got to be glue or bed head so this one gave me a little bit of challenge um it's something that you really have to work with um on it it does say that the spray is a super hold spray but i can compare it to got to be glue I, I would say it's somewhere along the lines um like i said i really really can't give my my all like my a full review because honestly this is just my first time using the product um with bedhead i had been using it but bedhead i had been using it for a while so i you know had more of a full review but this is like my first time i went to you know try products the for the first time with you guys on camera i would not use this over bedhead though honestly bedhead has trumped the top of my list so i definitely wouldn't put that up there but i will put it between got to be glue to be honest so i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give me a thumbs up and until next time i will see you guys on my next video bye guys